Okay, welcome to the container, welcome to our workshop. Um, what we have here is a Harkin 990 three speed winch. What we thought we'd do is take this apart, look through it, and then um, show you exactly what we're looking for when we're servicing a winch. So these winches are really nice, simple design, um, and pretty, pretty easy to take apart, especially when you've done quite as many as we have. So Allen key in the top, undo the top screw, and the drum just lifts straight off. Inside here, you can see the housing and the drum bearings. We can take these off. And next, we need to get inside the housing. Okay, so there's a number of things that we're going to be looking for when we service the winch. First thing with the base on the boat, we're gonna be looking for any sort of cracking or any problems that there might be with, with the base itself. And then all the gears will come off the boat and come back here to the workshop. When we're looking at the gears themselves, we're looking for any deformation or any galling on the gear teeth. Okay, so the other things we've been um, looking at in the winch is the bearings. If I lift the final pinion off here, you can see underneath, we have a number of roller bearings. These take all the load um, over the final pinion. On these, we're basically gonna just feel around and see, make sure that all the little plastic parts there holding the roller bearings are in place. And also we're gonna be looking at the bearing itself, just to make sure there's no galling or marks on that bearing. Okay, as you can see here, there's, this gear's actually got a little bit of galling on there. This can happen over time, and it's basically, all these winches are fully lubricated with Harkin grease, but there's so much water running through the boat that that can, that can come off over time. And this is just due to the load that the winches see. We've got all the spares in the container here, so let's go and have a look at seeing, um, what, see where they're kept. So what we've got here is all the spare parts for all the winches, pedestals, drive system, blocks, batting cars, everything that's on a Volvo 65. Each one of these boxes goes into the air freight and that goes from each stopover around the world. Here we've got the 990 box. So let's see if we've got a spare one of these uh, 11s in here. Perfect. So here we have the new Z11, and we can put that directly into the winch. Okay, the next thing we will look at is all the pulls and the springs within the, within the gear itself. You can pop one of those out now. The pull and the spring, the spring is working all the time, so these do wear out over time. So mo most of the time we'll swap these out at each stopover. With the pulls, they're under, they're under a lot of load all the time. So we want to really make sure there's no cracking around here. The other thing we're looking for is any stretch within these pool pockets. The nice way of finding out if there's been any stretch in there is by using a really simple tool. The design tolerance on these is set. So we know that this, this one should fit, and if this one fits, it's too stretched and we can't use it. It's looking good. Okay, so once we get inside the winch, there's a few things we're going to look for. We're going to look for the condition of the, of the base itself and then the gears. All the gears will come off the boat and come back to here in the workshop for us to, in, to clean them up and inspect them. and all the gears will go over into the parts washer to be washed. Okay, so everything is now cleaned and inspected and I'm just gonna show you exactly how we put all that back on the boat. Obviously the base is usually onto the boat, but just for demonstration purposes, we'll just do it here for you. So, first of all, we're gonna look at, look at this ratchet gear and we're gonna to need to grease up all the gears and we're gonna put some oil onto the pools. So just applying Harkin grease here. The key 
is not to put too much on. If you put too much grease onto the, onto the winch, the grease will disperse around and go into the pools, and then they stick. So by putting a small amount of grease on each tooth, that will protect the gear, but mean it will not spread around the winch. Notice also at the moment, I'm moving the brush from this side to this side, not from this side to this side. Reason being, if we get any lumps of grease like that, they're away from the pools and we can just easily brush them away. And we're now going to add the Harkin pool oil to each pool. Just squeezing it in behind the pool and working it into the pool. So as I said before, the winch, the gears come back into the workshop here and as we're servicing and inspecting this, what we're also doing is running through um, this service sheet and this checklist. It's got a number of different jobs. The first one, as I said, is a checklist so we can run through this and make sure that everything that we're doing, everything we need to look for within the winch is ticked off. So we've already looked at the drum so we can tick all the different elements there. On the checklist itself, We've got a green and an amber and a red section. Green means everything's okay, and if we see any problems or if we need to change out a part, we'll tick the red section. This is really nice and visual um, for the team managers when we send them a report at the end of the stopover, because it means that they can just go from each page and just look for any reds, which is something that they might need to look at. Okay, so I'm going to put the lid back on this winch now. Thanks for joining us in the Harkin Boatyard container. If you've got any questions about your own winches, just drop us a note and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.